All right, we're getting started here today. Appreciate your patience. It's a bit rainy, so walking the puppy took a little bit longer than expected today because he's a bit silly. And yeah, he's right there. He's a good boy. We're getting the game all loaded up here. We should get our sound all swapped over. Perfect. We've got game sound, microphone, game video, and webcam. Although the webcam is. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to center it the way I want to. There, that's better. <laughs> We're going to pick up right where we left off yesterday. So just as a quick recap, if anybody's watching was not here yesterday, yesterday we raided the Iron Throne, which is a very interesting name for an underwater prison. But I didn't name the thing. We raided the Iron Throne, saved all but one of the hostages. <clears throat> Most importantly, we got Duke Ravenguard out, and we got whatever the... The tentacle face from the Mike Mykonoid colony. Whatever his name is, we got him out. And then all but one of the other hostages, one of them did get killed by an opportunity Cut attack. My hands on everything. Uh, and then Gail said we are we are very, very silly, and we told Gail to meet us at Mistress Shrine or something along those lines. I need a moment. And then he wouldn't join our party again because I didn't realize that would kick him out of my party. Uh, let's actually get Will in our party for the first time One ever. Of my eyes might be made of stone, but that doesn't mean I'm blind to the obvious. I hope Gale makes you happy. I was looking for excitement. All he gave me, I. <laughs> Let's just say I want to be friends. I won't pretend I'm not hurt, but I also won't deny that your friendship okay, alone is a gift. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Gift. <clears throat> if friendship is what you're offering, it's an honor to accept. Uh, join our That's party, please. That's the spirit. What am I needed? Okay, let's pop his level ups, and then we'll get going. Warlock. What are your level 6 spells? Circle of Death, Arcane Gate, Eye Bite, Flesh to Stone, or Create Undead. Let's go for Flesh to Stone, why not? And... Another new spell? Let's give him counter spell since we don't have Gale with us, and counter spell has saved our ass many times. And we don't really care too much about what the rest of this stuff is. Eldritch invocations. Uh, let's see, what else should we'll have? Uh, Vampiric Touch is just underpowered for being a level 3 spell. It should be, if it was like 3d apes, I think maybe 3d tens would just be a lot better. There, let's give him Kona Cold, sure. The study of Occult. Glory of Unearth Eldritch Invocations. Fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with aiding magical powers. Life Drinker, your melee attacks deal additional necrotic damage. Cast Conjure Elemental with the Warlock spell slot. Hands Leap without expending a spell slot. That could be good. Speak with Dead. We don't need 
Describe magical rituals in your Book of Shadows. Gain Ray of Sickness, Chromatic Orb, and Silence spells. Cast these spells once for a long rest, and they don't use spell slots. Polymorph with a Warlock spell slot. Slow with a Warlock spell slot. Bestow Curse. Add your Charisma modifier to Eldritch Blast. Nice. Does he have a good Charisma? He does. Oh, he has hella Charisma. That's plus five to his Eldritch Blast. Speak with animals. What was this one? Mage armor at will without using a spell slot. Does Will use armor? We might go for that if he doesn't use armor. Cast False Life on yourself without expending a spell slot. <clears throat> Wong with Shadows. You learn how to cast Wong with Shadows, okay? You hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push the creature up to 4.5 meters away. Once we're long rest. I think we want actually this one. Uh, and he gets a new feat. Let's go for... Which is the one for a, a one-handed weapon wielder? Defensive duelists? Need a reaction to add your proficiency bonus to your armor class. What weapons is he proficient with? That is the question. Eh, we can always respec, and it's also not that big a deal. He's probably not going to stick into our party very long. He currently has a rapier, and he's proficient with that. Is he also proficient with this? No, not proficient with that. Despite the fact that this is an empirically better weapon, he's just not as good with it. Um, he doesn't have any anything. He does have light armor. Okay, how does his mage's armor work? Where is mage's armor? Oh, because we do have armor equipped, technically. Buddy, you don't... Uh. Okay. Is this... This is considered clothing. Advantage on saving throws against spells? That could be... That's the best option we've got so far. Uh, that is armor, so you can't have it. That's armor. That's clothing. Resistance to fire and cold damage. You're standing on a water surface. You heal one to four points. Um, I think we'd rather you have what you currently have. Any gloves that you can equip. There's these ones. Set your deck score to 18. Wasn't that what Shadowheart was wearing? Oh yeah, but we changed. Okay. How about boots? No boots you can wear. We got rid of all of them. A cloak. I mean, when someone deals melee damage to you, it takes one to four acid damage. Sure, better than nothing. Uh, we're not putting on the whispering mask. Any good amulet we can give you. Animal friendship, no. Bloody amulet. Voice of the circle. This one. This one could be good. We don't know what we're doing with you, Will. We're just trying to give you something so you're not complete trash. That gives you invisibility, but didn't... This? No, that gives us mirror image. Okay, so invisibility might be an option. Snowburst. Well, you're not going to be cold focused. You're not a shapeshifter. We don't care about charm. Okay, so give you... Movement speed and invisibility. Sure. Have a moon lantern in your torch spot. <laughs> sure. And a ranged weapon. Sure, at least expect it, just in case you need it. 
I'll go back to your melee. Okay, well, you're pretty kitted out now, Will. No, never Welcome to the team. Here goes nothing. But you've got a good Eldritch Blast, which is potentially more important. Oh, you know, I didn't stop to check if we had a better weapon for you. Surely we do. We've got lots of weapons. Actually, this thing has to be better all by itself, right? Oh, but you're not proficient with it because it's a short sword. Yeah, you're not proficient with it. You'd still be better with your regular rapier. 7 to 12 versus 5 to 12, but it's a plus 9 instead of a plus 7. You're not proficient with that. You are proficient with a pike. Or a dagger that gives you a hold person spell. Caked in blood. Seven to ten. Five to twelve. No, you're not proficient with tridents. You are proficient with spears. Well, we'll just have you let you have that. It gives you the hold person spell, which can be very powerful. And. We can always change out later. We might try to give you this. Yeah, because you're proficient with rapiers, and you are a one-handed... And that definitely fits you. And then we might go back to two-handed on our main character. And these things are okay, you have more to say. What do you want to say now, Will? Our time is short. My father is here, and by the living gods, I will free him. Um, we're already out of there. Go then, quickly. We've we've already saved your father. This is the we've made it back outside of things. What? Don't tell me you didn't save properly. Uh. No, yeah, it did save, because that was the last thing that got marked off as a quest if, when we were done. So Will is just being silly. Understood. Okay, well, I'm not sure where Gale is, but he's not in our party anymore, so now we've got Will. Mind my step. But what we did have to do is go down here, because we didn't actually go here properly. Let's a greasy, see. smelly climb down. Oh, it brings us back to the sewers. Where are we in the sewers? We're here. Oh. You know, we've gone through all this and I never even noticed that this was a place that we could transition. Speaking of, while we're down here, we never ever did find the skull for Saren's body. So I googled it after the play, st play session, and it said that the skull was behind... Well, we're just gonna cheat and go straight here. It said the skull was behind this guy. It said it was just like... on the ground behind him in this pouch, and I just did not search the pouch. I read the book, but I did not search the pouch. So I guess that's what I get for just being like, oh, well. He's fine. He's allowed to keep his things. We don't need to steal his stuff. Nope, that's what I get for not stealing the pouch. There it is. Here, Karlak, have the money. I'm going to take the skull. Okay, let's group back up. Whoa, where's Karlak and Shadowheart? 
Why aren't they getting included in our grouping backup? Oh, because they're very silly gooses? Okay, everybody group up. Thank you. I've got a long road ahead. That was just Can't silly. Okay. Okay. Yep. The headless ghost that just comes along because she wants to make sure that we put her head back where it goes. Okay. This one? This one. There you go. Hey look, the ghost got her head back. We laid the thankful ghost to rest by combining its skull and its skeleton. Once for long rest, you can use a reaction to make an attack roll or saving throw with advantage. Actually, that could pair very well. Because this gives us an extra reaction. So that could go... Let's give that a try. Why not? This one? This one. It gives us an extra reaction and an extra attack, and we can just basically force advantage on our attacks. Basically like how Karlak can do reckless attacks, except I don't give my opponent's reaction. Or, pardon me, I don't give my opponent's advantage against me. Okay, anyway. We need to get into here. Because after freeing the captives who were in there... They basically said, hey, we were being kept captive to make our families continue to work. Now that we're free, they should be rebel as long as you tell them that we're free. So how do we get into the Steel Watch Foundry? Is this all part of it? No. I mean, there's the front door, and that's just the obvious answer, but is there a better, less obvious answer? Is there like a hole in the fence right here? We can go inside the shack where we won't be seen? I don't see anything. I've fished these waters my whole life. Something's going on down there. Security zone. Trespassers will be terminated without warning. We could go check in on these people and see how they're handling what's his name? Now that we turned him over to them. If that's even changed. Something good here, I We can just loot the corpse. You'd be surprised how people can miss what's in plain sight. Heck yeah, I I'm stealing your pearl. Was deceiving me. You tamed the beastmaster. We thank you, friend. Okay, so they are happy with me in the end, I guess. Who's the boss lady? I don't know. Should I bother? I feel like we shouldn't bother. We can go in here and then they get mad at us. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can we push this cart? I know that Volo was tied to it, but now that we've rescued him, it's still a cart full of explosives. Is this like a pushable thing? This will be no different. Get down, don't climb on top of it. No. Okay. Does he go all the way around or does he turn around and come back? So we can pick the lock. Okay, he turns around and comes back. So we can't pick the lock until he's no longer able to see us, which should be now. And if we go quick, there we go. La la la. Okay. You won't notice that the gate is open, will he? We could also go to this gate. This gate would be easier because he stays away from this one for longer. I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. So I'm a silly goose. Mailbox. The Department of Drains and Underways is aware of the issue of the penetrating stench emanating from the round street hatches contracted to maintain wait i can't read i skipped a line from the round street hatches that provide access to the city sewers the tribe of gutter kobolds contracted to maintain free flow into sanitation tunnels appears to have been slain or driven away by forces or circumstances unknown the resulting backup is responsible for the unpleasant odor the department is taking appropriate measures to remedy the situation but in the meantime do not attempt to address the situation yourselves Citizens are prohibited from using the round street sewer access hatches. Leave sanitation to the professionals. Where are these sewer access hatches, huh? I haven't seen any. What's along the back side? So the question is, do we go straight for the front door? Or do we try to go around the back side? Let's unlock the front door and see if we can just They're peek. Can we open the front door without going inside? Yes, we can. Strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. Okay. Okay, we're not in the restricted area. We can close the door. There you go. When he makes his way back. But we can see there is one flaming fist person here. This. Hmm. Okay. I only see the one flaming fist person inside. This is probably too far away for us to detect other people's presence, though. There's an arm and a torso, and there is a leg. I wonder if we can build our own steel watcher. There's a lever here, so if we go here, we could probably pull the lever to make the thing go up. Um, let's try going around this way. Let's get the whole gang together. Oh, dang it, my timing is just atrocious. Okay, so we're gonna try to go this way. Is there anything in the immediate... couple outhouses and some random barrels that probably don't have anything in them. There's a dock here. 
We can't see or detect anybody on the docks, not from here at least. So let's wait for him to turn. Let's all go sneaky sneaky. Oh shit, there's another one. Oh shit. This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Oh, dang it. We could bribe them. We could buy our way in. We could convince them we belong here. Why are you looking at me like that? I live here. That uniform of yours will make a very tasteful body bag if you don't get out of my way. Better act as if I'm allowed here rather than admit you let me get this far. Ha! Let's go for that one. Just because I have good persuasion and there's no negative. Let's use friendship. The extra dice went away. It worked though, but the advantage dice disappeared again. Congratulations, you've convinced them to give you access. Now what? Now I go convince everybody this to is rebel. A restricted area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. I I just did this. Should we just attack? Why don't... It gave me a like a tenth of a second to do anything before it just immediately went right back to this. Fine, we're gonna fuck your shit up. Or die trying. You're level 11 with 206 HP. Um... Do you have, you have six intelligence. What is this limited to? Five, okay. We can try to hideous laughter you. Nope, you saved, dang it. Okay, so he's just standing there looking at my allies. What is going on with You've them? Foot in a restricted yep, area. okay. A swift exit maybe in all. Yep, I mean if we're fighting them, we're fighting them. You can hit two of us and knock us down at the same time like that? That's screwy. But you took three damage. Good job, Carlac. Do a searing attack on his ass. Nice. Hit him some more. Good job. Uh, Will. Let's see what you can do, sir. Uh, I've got... A lot of options, and I don't know what quite all of them do. Well, let's just go for Eldritch Blasting you. Wait, it would also knock you back? Okay, that's pretty cool. As a bonus action. Oh, we should have done this first, huh? Or we could Pommel Strike. Uh, hex your charisma constant. We want to do your strength because you 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 all hit with strength, don't you? You're weak to lightning. That's good to know. There's strength. Okay, your strength is hexed. I'm not sure quite how that helps us, but. Put him. Need to stay focused. That's right, you stay focused. 
focus on beating his ass. Ooh, a critical hit. And that would give him an attack of opportunity. Karlak, I want you to get up in the actual action. So you come up behind him like this. Do you have any bonus actions that might help? Uh, no. Sentinel. Oh, well that was a lot of missing. Okay, you are... Will, I've been sleeping on you, sir. You are pretty awesome. Okay, so that is an act of concentration, so we don't want to do another one, because it will just break the first one that we did. Ah, you dazed him. Good job. This is gonna feel good. Are you still under branding smite? No. Why does that always disappear so quickly and easily? A detonation? What the fuck? Uh-uh, let's get the hell out of there. Tactical. Uh, Will. Run this way. Well, that was a very tiny little bit of running. You only have one spell slot? Is that right? I don't know. I don't know. Karlak, do you have any... Well, yeah, okay. What should I do? Uh, you should run. I didn't know these guys detonate. Uh, bonus action dash. Okay, this might be bad. Okay, you're weak to this type of attack. Yeah, sure. You rolled two ones in a row? Well, that just sucks. One of the gods are watching me. Do your bonus attack. Luck of the Far Realms. Um, we don't need to change it to a critical. That's just fine. Make it withering, yes, sure. Uh, you can end your turn there. You exploded, and everybody was out of the way. Uh, we can shield so that he misses. And then we opportunity attack, stab him in the back. Nice. Okay. All right, these guys aren't as hard to fight as I... I thought they would be so much harder to fight. I've been scared of them this whole time. Will just out here blasting him with the Eldritch Blast. Oh, I should have done this first. Dang it, I'm so dumb. Now he's probably out of range. Yeah, now he's out of range. Fuck yes. Heading out. Karlak, I love your enthusiasm. Okay, you missed on the second one, but sure, whatever. Okay, then don't let up. I mean, not that complicated. Come on. That's only 45. That's only 16? That's 50, okay. 22 plus 2, okay. Not too bad, I guess. My turn. Just go stab him. By my hand. And then do this bonus attack thing. And then... Uh, get out of the way. That's probably a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Okay. Um, let's go Karlak first. Okay, no animation. He just goes straight to... Uh, do a pommel strike. Let's see if we can kill him before he detonates. But we'll get out of the detonation zone just in case. You had a miss on one of them, and so he didn't move and fall down. Okay. Uh, 
He's got seven health left. Finish him off. Oh. Okay. That was not smart. Now I know. Even if... Even if you kill them before they explode, they still explode. Okay. Ooh, Infernal Iron. Here you go, Karlak. Do they all have Infernal Iron? If that was the case, I should have been killing these guys for loot a long time ago. Uh, although I suppose there's not... That's a different kind of Infernal Iron. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Okay. Ooh, there's a chest on the boat. Gold ingots. Okay. Oh, I'm encumbered. That's... Okay, we don't care about that. Dang it. All of that goes to camp. These things go to Shadow Heart. I don't think I want Will to carry stuff because he's probably not going to stick on our party long term. Although he is better than I anticipated. And I haven't built anything around him. I just kind of threw whatever I had laying around on him. So he might be even better than that. I just genuinely don't know. There you go, Shadowheart. I have more random loot. Okay. So. Pursuit protocol. What was that? You attack the Steel Watcher. Steel Watcher searching for you. Oh, okay. It's just, we're a fugitive on the run, at least temporarily. Okay, let's have everyone gather up over here. And let's have Shadowheart throw potions at us. Where am I needed? You're needed right here. Sure, close enough. What's cooking? What's cooking? Um, I don't know, but I hope it's tasty. Oh, come on. You can get a tiny little bit closer. Let's get on with it. Is that close enough to throw healing potions and hit everybody? Maybe. No, you didn't hit hit you did not hit yourself. Okay, why don't you just want to stand closer to your allies? Come on. Okay, how... It's not hitting the main character. Okay. That is OP healing, though. I just do this instead of using many healing potions. Try right there. Well, okay. You just drink. That's good enough. Okay. Ready. Let's Can't pick this lock. Wait, somebody's talking about having an idea for a new watcher. You're about to die. Spare us, and I will begin prototyping the new watcher immediately. Hey, I need a quick word. Nope, we're here to save you. Uh uh. Nope, uh uh. We saved your families, and now we're here to save you. You have beat 
Satan and tormented us to the brink of insanity. You cut out my eyes. Is that a bomb collar? We will bow no more. Gondians! Rip the motivator from this bastard's hands. For Gond! Oh shit. Okay. Um. Are you the blind guy? Who's wearing the collar? I don't see a collar on you. Oh yeah, okay, it's there. So that is you. So you're the one who's probably the leader, so you're the one who's most important to protect. Which means I need to... That would provoke... Why would that provoke an attack? Just jump over them, my goodness. Fine. Misty step. Waste your misty step, but do it. You're level 12, which means I don't like you the most. We're gonna weakening strike. Actually, can we do a sneak attack? We can! Yes! And make it a crit. Sure, be withering about it. That was pretty good. Okay. I'll take what I can get at this point in time. Hey, nice, good job. Ooh, you got big. Do something, do something cool. Ooh, cool, that was awesome. I asked you to do something cool and you did not disappoint. Planar ally, Diva. Conjure a celestial Diva to fight alongside you. Wait, hold on. Where is Will? Defender of the people. Oh shit, I forgot to... I'm all here by myself? Uh-uh. Ain't having that. Oh, you were the one who was causing... Okay, I see now. Okay. That was just me being extra stupid. I forgot to regroup. Yep, you jump out of the fire and beat up one of my new friends. That's rude. Okay. Nice. Good job, shove him into the fire and broke his concentr- Oh wait, no, you're a bad guy. Never mind, not good job. Terrible job, I hate you. You suck. Will, 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 will. So you do minimum of six damage. That would straight kill you if we focused on you, but I'm not sure if, do I want to? Path is interrupted. Yeah, yeah, let's just take you out. There you go, we killed you before you got a turn. How much damage did that do? 14 and then 13 and then he died. So we could have used a third, oh well, we didn't know that. And then you missed after he was killed. Sure, that makes perfect sense. Right, are they bonus action? Will do a hex strength against this guy. I keep forgetting we should. Oh, does that use one of our? Mm, that does use one of our very few spell slots. Okay, Will, you're done. Karlak, you can maybe hit this guy if you get very lucky with this rush attack. Not enough movement. That should hit him. Aw, oh, but he did a save, so he only took 8 damage. Okay, but that does mean that we get to use our other things. Push him into the fire. Ha! Suck on that. Making good use of my rush attack for extra bonus movement. Okay. Yep, you fly over here. Pull arm, opportunity attack. Oh, I missed. That sucks. Who summoned you? Uh, no, don't waste a charm. 
still don't waste a charm. Shadowheart. Oh, dang it. Why are you so far away, Shadowheart? Uh, shoot this one with an arrow. Yep, you missed. That checks out. Sure, summon a great axe. Motivator. Is that on our side or against us? What is it? This device will make something explode if the holder drops it. I don't understand. Is that a red border? Okay. You're on fire. You command one of your own allies. Sure, that makes perfect sense. Sure, Hellish Rebuke. 29 damage, not too bad. And broke his concentration, even better. You also command one of your allies. What does that do? Okay. What does the voice of command do? Creature will channel Bane's Wrath. It is the Black Hand's will. You get... More damage and frighten your target. Okay. So we don't like that, is what we're saying. That would give it a attack of opportunity. Okay, well, let's just go for what we can go for. And we missed. Too bad. Okay. Can't have disadvantage. We have disadvantage against you? That would give it two attack of opportunities, but probably worth it. Nope. Why did you... Your pathfinding said you were going to go this way around the fire. Why did you go straight into the fire? Withering cut. Nice. With a bonus attack, stab him in the face. Thank you. Now get out of the fire. Are you out of the fire? I can't tell if I'm out of the... Okay, you walked through this way. Why can't you walk back this way? What the stupid pathfinding? Oh well, that's fine. Stay there, I guess. Whatever. You missed. You dumped a whole pool of acid on top of them, and you missed. Okay. You guys had a much better first turn than your second turn. You guys did some cool stuff on your first turn. Okay, good job on your con saving throws, buddy. Will. 25%, 42%. What if we have you shove this guy away? Too heavy to shove, okay. Um, what other kinds of attacks do you have? 70% to lacerate him. Now he's bleeding, okay. But he's still too heavy to shove. Can you dip your weapon? Oh, you can dip your weapon inside of him? To get your weapon on fire? We should have done that before we caught the weapon. Before we attacked him. We could have done a fire damage attack to him. Oh well. If only I'd known that ahead of time. Ha, you suck. Carlac, Carlac, do something cool. Go into a rage. Cool, you hit them both. Good job, Carlac. Hit this guy. Uh, hit this guy. You still missed! What? How can we not hit this guy? We have advantage. You had 96% plus advantage and you still missed. Critical miss. Damn it, 11. Shadow heart, shadow heart. Go smash this guy. Wait, 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 wait. 
Okay, never mind. This would get most of the good guys, but not all of them. Go a little bit closer. There. No, no, no. Why are you hitting these guys who aren't all that beat up, but not this guy who is very beat up? There. That'll hit a lot of them and give a lot of people Blade Ward, which should help a little bit at the very least. Okay, you do a, you do a dash action. Why did you do a dash action? You had targets that were like within your range. I don't understand. Hey, finally we hit you. Okay. Okay, that is red. What does that mean? Does this explode or does it cause other things to explode? It will make something explode if the holder drops it. Can we pick it up? Better not be cursed. I don't care. What the hell? You let me... Ugh. Fine. Whatever. You're level 12. I want to take you down first. Wait, I have disadvantage against you? Is there anyone that I have advantage against that I could do this? No. Seventy, forty, forty, sixty-five. We could. S That's a waste, isn't it? Okay, let's just do you. Bonus attack thing. You also. Okay. I suppose. Buddy, I was standing right there. This thing is impossible to hit. Okay. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. Uh oh. No, the motivator. Deactivate it. Hurry. How? How do I deactivate it? You had the thing. Okay, we'll kill this bitch. Okay, now there's an extra motivator. Is this the one that was going to detonate, or was this the one that was going to detonate? Were they both going to detonate? This one you can't even reach. Can we jump over... That takes an action to actually do something. Okay, well let's just jump over here. I guess. Oh, come on! It did not tell me that it would do an attack of opportunity! What the heck is wrong with you? You just wasted the entire turn. Carlac, right. get to this, please. DC of five. Give us guidance, Shadowheart. That'll work. Deactivated. Thank the gods. Oh, wait. The... Oh, was it because it was her summon? So when we killed her, that thing just disappeared? Is that what happened? Okay, we need to deactivate this one too, but how? We can't get up there. Um, no, don't waste our reaction. Still don't waste our reaction. 
Shadow Heart. Wait, why can't you do an attack? Why can't you do an attack? Where's your action gone? What? Okay, fine, we only get a bonus action, I guess. I don't have a good bonus action, so let's just try to go over here. No, not Will. He's our new friend. Miss. Okay, well, I suppose I just learned what that motivator does. It wiped out some of our friends. Actually, it killed every single one of them except the blind guy. Interesting. Yes, withering cut. And we missed. That sucks. Hey, thanks for the aid. I'm not sure what that does. Hit point maximum increased by five. Good job, Karlak. Will. 42, 42, but you have disadvantage on that, so. Your weapon is still on fire? Sure. Cool, four extra fire damage. Not bad. Shove him. Nice. Good job. This could be fire, baby. Good job, Karlak. You are not useless, unlike some people, Shadowheart. Sure, be reckless. Ah, uh, don't waste your paralyzing. Um, this time we will use our charm. Oh, he saved. Ow. Well, I could dip in the other guy. Come on, that shows it's a dippable surface. Okay, fine. Thank you. Now let me dip. I should have done that first. No. This will make things interesting. Okay, now it's a fire weapon, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay, what just happened? Hold on. You cast Bane's Wrath on Will. He was hit for 15, he made his saving throw, then he was also hit for plus 41. But his cape <laughs> dealt 8 acid damage to you, which killed you. Will, good, <laughs> good job, Will. Uh, are you the only one left alive? I think you are. Which means you won't be left alive for very long. Gandian Loa. Okay, are you the Gandian guy? Yes, you are. You're the only one who survives. I'm sorry that we Did couldn't save their friends. Is my little girl? Is Obelia safe? I don't know who's Obelia. Some hostages died, but your daughter wasn't one of them. Oh, my heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. Consider it done. My fellow Gondians, flee this prison. We're bringing this place down. All your fellow Gondians are dead, dude. You're the only one who survived. I'm sorry. Let's loot. 
Maybe there's some cool things. Yes. Kill switch protocol. Caution. Prinsky's motivator is the supreme bainite means of ultimate coercion, but is useful solely as a deterrent and not as a weapon. When triggered, the user has only moments to deactivate it before the prison tank charges and detonates, and the hostages are killed, taking with it our leverage over the Gandhian artificers. Threaten convincingly, but never go to full detonation unless the entire foundry falls to our enemies. Details. So long as you hold the motivator, you are safe from the Gandhians, for they know that if you are attacked, their loved ones will die. However, to prevent accidental massacre, the motivator can be deactivated easily with the correct input. Don't worry about the Gandhians, they'll be too terrified to grab a dropped motivator. They are weak and cowardly, the natural prey of the worshipper of Bane. Trash. Trash. No, 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 that's... That's... Stealing in front of my new friend. Trash. Although he is blind. Trash. There's a key. Congratulations, son. Gasper, just a quick note to tell you we are so proud of you for finally landing a job with a future. Lord Gortash will go far. You were right to hit yourself to his star. Pa is especially pleased at how you're carrying on the Throke's name. In fact, he's taking me out to the Elf Song right now to celebrate. Say hello to that sweet Tammy of Hulks for me, Mama. Well, sorry Mama, your son is dead. Oh, actually, we did talk to your parents. Anything of use? Okay, so... We want to do a short rest. Fresh. That will get everybody except Will back up. And since only Will is the only one, we don't need to... That's good enough. We don't need to bother wasting time trying to gather around. Okay, yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, there's that fist member in here. Are they still here? Did they run away when they heard battle commencing? That might be worth a look. Oh, something that's worth a look. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Okay. If we were small we could crawl through the vents like Ruth Willis and Die Hard? Is that what we're learning? No traps, please. Submersible Memorandum. Supplies are to be brought to the Iron Throne by way of the submersible. Red Hammer will facilitate and tell him to avoid the Temple Wave Servants this time. Black Gauntlet Han Rivas. Yeah, that person who was Part of the fist must have just ran away. But we can't jump up here, it's too high. Can we get up here somehow? Yes, there's definitely. Steel Watcher Helmet. Rare. Artificial sight. The wearer can see in the dark up to 12 meters and cannot be blinded. Advantage on constitution saving throws. Nah. Oh, actually, Will. You can do this. We should have done that before. Look at that AC bonus. It went from 12 to 17. Swift as my feet can carry me. Steel Watcher Helm. This majestic Morian Helm shields the Watcher's gyronetic and targeting modules. Nope, there's a dead person up here. Open up. They just murdered somebody before we got here? Yeah, and they were clearly planning on murdering more because there's just a whole bunch of caskets waiting here. 
Mark I prototype. Here, in unpowered prototype form, stands a completed steel watcher, the proudest achievement of the foundry, and a tribute to the untiring efforts of the Bainite overseers. The steel watcher's powerful spring-loaded leg components enable it to leap with surprising agility. So this is like a museum? In addition to... Okay, nothing there that we want. A Watcher Greatsword. Target is too heavy. 3 to 36 damage. Can only be used by Steel Watchers. The arm component wields the mighty Watcher Sword, but is also fitted with a fold-out harpoon bow for ranged combat. Huh, they can attack at a range, I never but knew also, that. Also, the largest and most complex component is constructed and loaded with secret components on the lab level below. Oh, there's a lab level below, eh? Oil flask. Is that something we want? Creates a flammable oil surface. Sure. Um, we'll give that to Shadowheart in a second. There was a ledger that we wanted to read. Where did that go? The targeting module, an optical focus device, is fitted within the Watcher's helm to enable aiming of the harpoon bow. Where did the ledger go? There it is. Well, it's right there. Fine, we'll pick it up and then read it from within our inventory. First day received from House of Wonders, machined arm pistons, six. Uh, okay. Just world building, not anything that can help us, I think. I could be wrong, but eh, we'll see. Easy peasy. Uh oh, auto save. Watch your crossbow blueprint. Oops, I meant to click read, and I'm a silly goose. Blueprint revealing the internal workings of Steel Watcher's arm mounted crossbow. Tamiya Domina Attende Prayers to God. What is that? A scry screen? Next time's the charm. What the hell is a scry screen? Is that how. Gortash talked to us before? Regarding the Gondian gnomes. Bainite confidential. Though it's important to cooperate with our siblings who worship Merkel and Baal, remember that Bane is the tyrant. It is Bane who rules. Subversion and capture of Gondian operatives in Baldur's Gate is a Bainite project, particularly as regards to the gnomish artificers. They are ours, or more particularly, mine. They are not to be tadpoled, as that would expose them to control through the absolute hierarchy. Instead, they are to be locked in incineration collars that are remote controlled by Prinsky's motivators. I want those gnomes aware of what they are doing and deeply unhappy about it. When the Watcher project is complete and the artificers are of no further use, the survivors will then be tadpoled. Lord Gortash. Hostage census, evading the elder brain. Emperor is interrogated by Gortash part three. Wait, they had the emperor? When captured you, you were a rogue, an autonomous illithid beyond the power of the elder brain. That is correct. Brought you back to the psionic amb of our hovering friend, the absolute. Your defenses were overwhelming. Return to your former servile state. Also correct. How did you escape the control of the elder brain in the first place? <sighs> 
Oh, I'm an old man, sorry. In my original humanoid form, I possessed an exceptionally strong personality, so much so that even after Ceramorphosis, I was still substantially myself. Of course, I concealed this beneath a semblance of perfect servitude. And that's why the Elder Brain was willing to send you out of the colony on scouting missions? Yes, as I told you before. How long did you feign mental slavery before you were able to escape? Thirteen and three quarters years. Till finally you were given a mission to Baldur's Gate, distant enough to be out of the Elder Brain's control? That is correct. Remarkable, that is correct. And you don't mind that we've brought you back under silent control. I am entirely devoted to the needs of our Elder Brain and of its masters. You're not lying about that, right? Correct. That would be impossible. Hostage Sensei. Iron Throat Hostages. Tuesday's Roll Call. Bilia Tubin. Phoenix Lebens. Haystar Biggs. Morlando Randall. Roll Call interrupted by attempted escape of Flu Hapgood. Deceased. Addition. Older Raven Guard arrived via submersible. Detained in solitary confinement. Oh, that's the same one that we read before. He just has multiple copies of his threatening letter. Map of Elterguard centering the city of Eltrail, showing nearby towns of Trial, Scornoble, and Burtis. Mechanical diagram. It's a diagram of mechanical designs, not just written, but read. Oh, it stopped. Okay, I didn't mean to. Underwear? Why is there underwear up here? It's like some kinky bondage underwear. That's not regular, normal underwear. Like, what the heck? Call the cargo elevator. Um, we never finished exploring the uppermost layer over here. Yeah, we'll take the raw bronze ingots. Solid bronzing it. Was there nothing else up here? Oh, there's a row of books. We usually find books that we like. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go call the cargo elevator. That must be this, right? It's gotta be. And then maybe we can go down here, if not. Hmm, yeah, it was that. Hmm, so do we take the elevator down or do we take the stairs down? Considering the cargo elevator took a few extra steps, I'm going to say that's the way we want to go. But we're probably going to have to... ...ungroup so that we can jam everybody in here. We don't want a repeat of the elevator in Shar's Temple incident. Hey, buddy, I need you to get in the elevator, please. No, no, no. Stop. What am I to do? Get in the elevator. That's what you are to do. Let's get going. Best be on my way. Yeah. Pull the lever. Whoa, where are you going? Yo, yo, yo. Well, what the heck are you doing? You silly, silly goose. Where are you going? No, 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 no. I don't know where you think you're going, but you're not going the right way. Okay, little 
little guy is in the elevator too. Okay, pull the lever. Did little guy come with us? Oh shit. Wait, how are you guys all hurt? Who slash what slash how? Oh, you just straight murdered these people. So you're, you're hurt because... Did we not get down here fast enough or was there no way to save you? Did you guys die because we fucked around and took our time? Oh, we gotta double check this. I initiate a fight with ball servants and slave Gandians. Kill every guard and activate all things that control Gandians. They're still hostile. Oh, nope, that's not what I meant. Well, okay. I think we got here too late. They put up a... F like, look, all of y'all got hurt from that one that you gathered around and... That's just screwed up. Okay. So what it's telling me is that I should... Shoot an arrow here where I'll hit all of y'all. Ooh, critical hit against two of you. That's pretty swell. Here we go again. Uh, nope, you're dead. Don't waste your reaction. Sweet, two kills and even more damage against a couple more of you. Where are you going? Why are you running away? Okay. There must be another way around. Oh yeah, okay. Can't reach. Do you have anything ranged at all? You have a book to throw. Property of Xanar Tubin. What is this property of Xanar Tubin book? I could throw it and then I could. Are you Xanar Tubin? Is that your name? Yeah. You could. I don't want to throw your book and then it gets destroyed because I threw it. Though now I see why you weren't doing much helpful anything because you suck and don't have helpful things to do. Although you can misty step. You have one cantrip, and that is Shocking Grasp. Uh, let's get Karlak and Will out of here first, because they can be more helpful. Ready for this. And then maybe they'll be out of your way, and you can do a better pathfinding. What the hell was that? You got an opportunity attack because I tried to get closer to you? And they both got their save off. Sure. Finding my way. Hit that guy. Seven and then two misses, but you did knock her back quite a ways. Oh, those spell slots come back after every short rest. That's good to know. Uh, you're outside of my range, so I can't hex you. Too bad. Bonus action. 
Everyone is too far away to pommel strike. Okay, fine. No bonus action for you. I know you can't reach the destination. Go as far as you can. It's not that complicated. Uh, yeah, go do a blur. You have four level one spell slots, but nothing you can use those spell slots for. Nice! I sure do dare. Got to press on. Yep, that's right. Press on, Shadowheart. 45. 45, a path is interrupted. Um, you could throw that here. Miss, but one, four, and four damage and set them all on fire. Nice, okay. Better than nothing. Steel Watchers, these guys are coming in hot from this direction. Are you, you resistant to everything? All of the physical damage types, but you are weak to shock. Well, that's not helpful. Um, no, let's not do any bonus actions right now. You fight against progress. I will not allow it. Buddy, I am progress. Silence, okay. It's not that big of a deal for me. Ha, uh, you took more damage than we took. You suck. Aura of Terror! Ah, uh, no, don't waste that. Ow! Two damage and a critical hit. It's the worst. Good job, Will. That mage armor coming in clutch. Okay. You bad guy, you're a bad guy. Um. Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know why I didn't do that in the beginning. Who are you? Hellfire Watcher? Wait, that's new. Wait, what are you? You're also a Hellfire Watcher. Oh, shit. Okay. You're a bad guy. Let's go after you. Withering Cut. Are you also going to jump up top? Oh, you're going to jump up there. Sure, Hellish Rebuke. Nice, 21. Not too bad. Arrest them! Uh, no? How about... Fuck you? You're a bad guy. We could try to give you a concussion. Not enough movement because you suck. You don't know how to walk through here. And you don't have anything ranged. Except throwing your own book. But I don't want to throw your book.
do we have any ranged weapons that we're not using? No, all of our ranged weapons are currently equipped. Will. Oh, you're directly underneath this guy. Okay, run back this way. Oh, you're in the Aura of Terror now. Who is that? Is that you doing the Aura of Terror? You are. Is it also you? Why are we still in it? How big is this aura? I don't know. Oh well. Dang it. I was hoping we could knock him off of his high ground. 12 and 11 and a miss. I mean, that's not bad, all things considered. Hex your strength while we're at it. Target is out of sight. Oh, damn it. I should do hexes first. I'm so dumb. That's a teammate. Okay, well. You could miss the step. But that would be stupid. Are you almost dead? You are almost dead. Not enough space. Too far. Oh, because you're blind. Duh. Shocking grass. Miss. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Uh, shoot that guy. Critical miss. Well, that sucks. Shoot him again. Too critical. That's that's two times today that we've had two critical misses in a row. That is outrageously unlucky. Shadowheart. Thirty. What about you? Can't cast spells. You're silenced. You're like. Not even touching the aura of silence. Well, I guess it's touching your shoulder. That's just dumb. 35. 75. Go for that. Nope, he got a save off. We can't hit anybody today. Why? Pup, pup. You're a wup wup and I love you. Bend the knee or I will break it. I don't know what that did. You're a good boy. Look at them gathering together. That's prime opportunity to throw a bomb in the middle of them. Okay, you jumped up there. Thanks for giving Will a perfect target to knock you off of somewhere very high. Psionic backlash. Blight. Yes, we want to counterspell that. It still hit us for 22 even though we counterspelled it? What the hell? No, don't waste that charm. Ow, maimed? What does maimed do? We have disadvantage. Why do we have disadvantage? Because we're threatened. Uh, that would just do attack of opportunity. Okay, so what we should do is an arrow of many targets? No, a fire arrow in your face. No, this is just not going to work out well no matter what we do. Okay, so we shouldn't do any kind of arrow or anything. Let's do a piercing strike against you. And make it a withering cut. Nice. As a bonus action, we'll attack you. Critical miss. Well, that sucks. 
Hey, you just wasted your whole turn. Awesome possums. Will. Favors the fearless. Um, hit this guy. 30% disadvantage. Well, hit him anyway. Oh, heck yes. That fall from a high place was exactly what we wanted to do to him. Okay, as your bonus action, you need to drink a potion, sir. That might not have been enough. Shoot. Um, shocking grasp to this guy. Good job. And then get away from him. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted from you. Mm, you have nowhere to misty step to because you're blind. Let's go. Um, yes, let's. Okay, Karlak, I want you to come stand. Immobile, you're maimed. Movement speed reduced to zero. Disadvantage on deck saving throws. Removed by healing. Okay. Does this count as healing for the purpose of removing your maimed? It does. Okay, perfect. I want you to come over here. Thank you. And you don't need to worry about spells. What I want you to do is a cleave. It will hit these guys. Nice. Good job. Now, hit this guy. Critical hit. And don't bother paralyzing him. He's almost dead. Shadow Heart. Perfect chance. Disadvantage. Low ground and aura of terror. Who is causing the aura of terror? Is it you? Well, then you need to get hit in the face. You're not the one doing the aura of terror? Who is it? Is it you? No, you're the one doing the silence, which I don't care about. You're doing... Who's... Is it? It is you? But it's not a concentration, so we can't have any chance to break your concentration. Okay, I think I understand a little better now. Heal all your allies, at least a little bit. Give them all the Blade Ward buff. Nice. Okay, good job, Shadowheart. This is a lesson. Um, How painful it is. Psionic Backlash. Don't waste a counter spell. Because Psionic Backlash will kill him. Wait, you attacked your own friend? Oh no, that was Karlac. Uh, yes, counter spell the Blight. That time the counter spell worked. You go in the blight, and then you go out of the blight. Oh no, one whole damage. Okay, you jumped, but you didn't move. There you go. Stop maiming my friends. That's rude. Um, attack this one. Wait, why didn't we get our reaction? What is preventing you from doing your reaction? This? No. You're not in an aura, are you? Yeah, are both of you guys doing an aura of bullshittery? No, you're just doing the concentration on silence. But my reaction isn't a concentration, is it? Oh well, don't matter. You're dead. You're the one who wasn't doing anything, which is fine. Ow. That hurt. Go do a shocking grass to this guy. Nice, 32. Now get the hell out the way. Bye forever, pal. 
Um, keep attacking. Nice. Bonus attack. Only three, well, still. Wait, why are you silenced? Why did this say can't kill? We killed the guy who was making the silence. This is my time. Yes, yes it is. Can we knock this? Ooh, we can knock this one. 32 from the fall. Yes. Okay. Uh, Will, you still need healing. Drink another healing potion. Good job. Can't give up. Not now. Um, yeah, go smash this thing in the f face, maybe? You can do a con uh, we don't want to waste our concussive. Oh, you can't move because you're maimed. Shoot it. Disadvantage from Aura of Terror. Why are you in an Aura of Terror? Is this guy doing it? Yeah. Why are there so many guys who can do an Aura of Terror here? I don't like it. 30%. Okay, well... What spells do we have at our disposal? Polymorph. Heal, just a big ol' pile of healing. I wonder if we could dominate. Well, that one's too far away. And this is the one that's beat the hell up. We could do a flame strike. Six percent chance to hit. And it would for sure hit Will. And it would hit this guy, but that's just not worth it. 30, 42. Okay, let's just take out this guy if we can. Oh. Okay. Uh, get out of the blast radius. Sure, whatever, it doesn't matter. You're getting out of the blast radius. Carlac. Get out of the blast radius. You. You can't misty step far, but you can misty step out of the blast radius. Okay, Shadowheart, you're stuck there, but we'll take what we can get, right? Yeah, okay. You can't move because you're maimed. Uh, activate your reflective shell. Maybe it'll help against the blast. I don't know. You run away like a coward. Uh, psionic backlash. I say you run away like a coward, but I was literally just doing the exact same thing. Shadow Heart. Why do I have disadvantage? Oh, because the Aura of Terror sucks so much. Who is causing the Aura of Terror? Is it you? It is you. Okay, this time you did have a concentration. I can't do that? Why can't I do that? Available next turn. What the hell is that about? Yeah, and he just passes all of his con saving throws, sure. Oh, please don't kill that guy, we need him. 4 plus 10, not too bad, okay. Okay, not a chance of killing him. You're maimed. Let's finish this. <clears throat> Shadowheart, I want you to throw... We don't need a big healing potion, just throw a tiny healing potion. Is Karlak also maimed? Karlak is also maimed. 
come on. This splash, look, it's... Okay, well, this guy is more important that he gets unmamified. Shocking grass. And now, get out of the way. Thank you. Yep, that's fine. You can just end your turn there for now. Karlak, you can reach from where you're standing, so you don't necessarily need to get the hell out of the way. Sure, be reckless. Oh, okay. Battle favors the fearless. Karlak, you're just gonna have to suffer the... Suffer the explosion, I'm sorry. Shadowheart did with one, you can, oh, this guy though. I don't know if he's strong enough to deal with it. You need to get out of there. Thank you. Karlak, you are strong enough, I'm not worried about you. You're awesome is what you are. Can you shove him? Nope, too heavy to shove. You cannot do that. Okay. I mean, that would free up your ability to move again. Okay, Shadow Heart. Give Will just a little bit of healing. Not too bad. Oh shit, you needed to heal yourself. Okay, good thing no one is paying attention to that. Don't waste your withering cut. Do this. Don't waste any of that. Okay, he's about to explode. Oh, Karlak, I'm sorry. Short rest number two. What now? Uh, now we loot these bodies. If there's any good loot on them. Ah, uh, to Clotilda. An unfinished letter written in a broad, looping handwriting with purple ink. Dear Reaper of Ball, Clotilda, it was at one of the Chosen's meetings that I saw you. I was guarding Lord Gortash. You were guarding Lady Orin. They went into the meeting room while we guarded the door, and you and I spoke so briefly. But every word you said is graven on my heart, as if carved by an interrogation chisel. I looked into your fierce, into your fiery eyes, and I felt, how can I describe it? I felt a real connection, like nothing I'd ever... This... This reads like a Craigslist misconnection ad. Ultimate trick book. What? Concise guide to winning at the card game Talus, including robust appendix detailing methods of cheating. Oh yeah, we've found one of those before. Wait. Oh, it's just a plus one armor. Okay, you have a name like Iron Console Martin the Hammer, and you don't carry a hammer on you? Come on, dude. Ooh, a motivator. We're gonna take that. Glad we killed you quickly. A key and a motivator. Another book. Are these motivators heavy? I don't know, 131. They weigh 10 pounds each? Why doesn't it at least say that they have weight to them? Come on. All of these could go to camp. Those can go to camp, thank you. These should go to Shadowheart. 
these we're still we're still thinking if we want to go one blade or two there's been pros and cons uh, this is will's secondary weapon he can hold on to that what's hiding here sorry didn't want to sneeze right in the microphone Bayonite request form. Guards written orders to protect Gortash's submersible vehicle at any cost. Well, sorry Gortash, I f screwed your day up. Handwritten ledger appears to be a meticulous record of the steel foundry's production cycle. Update. Mechanical parts of the submersible that had passed their Gandhian function warranty date were removed on Thursday and replaced with new pieces. Used pieces were brought from the dock warehouse back to the shop. So points of wear can be noted, and preventative measures can be taken to avoid fault or failure. Okay, that's ours now. Poem for Lanpos. Lanpos Biggs, an elegy. From Mansur, in loving memory, how awed I was by your strength, till I saw it was less than your gentleness. No one exceeded your precision, your standards, but patience. Patience was your watchword. Patience and love. Bane's Book of Admonitions. Seems hmm. A book of adages and precepts for Bainites, providing the basic tenets of worship of the Lord of Tyranny, with suggested prayers for common situations. The heart of the book is Bane's Twelve Admonitions, a dozen rules for proper Bainite conduct, with punishments specified for failure to comply. The book opens easily to a page with two of Bane's most popular admonitions. Number six the reprimand of leniency, and number seven, the rebuke of false compassion. Okay. You know what that means. We're stealing it. Oh, got him. Hellfire Watchers. Guard rotation schedule. Hold up. What's in here? Uh, we don't care about the water. Effective next Tuesday, all Bayonites will be on rotating shifts to guard the submersible, beginning with fist strokes. Ha, uh, he's dead. Report to Flim Cargo on the first day of your shift. Complaints will not be tolerated. Black Gauntlet Holtz. Okay. Ooh, there's potions of healing there. That is for Carlac. Charcoal. I do. Potion of animal speaking. Superior healing. Charcoal. Bronze ingot. Bronze ingot. Gold ingot. Pick up the gold ingot, please. Thank you. Search this Hellfire Watcher. More infernal iron for Carlac. Here you go. We still haven't found the person who can use that to forge better stuff for Carlac. Well, if except the one guy who died. This door leads to the foundry's depths and the neurosita. Parchment. There's a sickle and an axe and a dagger and a hand axe. Okay. Piece of charcoal. Okay, so that door is our goal, which means we want to go there last. Stop. Do not open. Mind Flayer Parasite Specimen. Yes, please. I smell death and Efficacious decay. Brain Removal. We make preparation, aren't we? An excerpt from a practical introduction to Merculite, operative necromancy. Yeah, well, Balthazar is dead. I killed him. He's undead and then re -dead? I don't know how you qualify that. Uh, a note has been scrawled at the top of the page. Make full use of the motivator should the Gandhian artificers prove unwilling. Step one, orbital 
trepanation of the cranium can be completed using the provided trephine or drill. Ensure the surgical tool does not pierce the somatosensory cortex. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Is that surgery kit? Okay, no, thank you. Headless corpse. That's a zombie. Sure, wither and cut. Just extra super kill the zombie. Here you go, Carla. I have more gold. Why was there a zombie here? With the brain removed. Is this how they puppet the steel watch? The inscription yeah. reads. Fresh supplies for the steel watch, courtesy of necromancer Balthazar. Oh, screw you, Balthazar. Yeah, didn't think of that, did you? Orders. Black Gauntlet Revis. Oh, I'm over encumbered again. And still watch your quota for the next 10 days delivered. We will consider Watcher Phase 1 complete. You can start winding down operations in the foundry. We will have enough automatons for our immediate purposes. And besides, we have an unexpected tadpole shortage that limits production. There is no longer a need to coddle the Gandians if they prove truculent. You are authorized to execute individual troublemakers and stack their corpses somewhere visible, as an example. Oh. Another Gandhi, and it's just dead over here. Parchment. Please help. The Bayonites have taken our family's hostage. They're being held in an underwater prison. Get the submersible by the... The rest of those contents are obscured by blood. Okay, all of that goes to camp. These things go to Gale, which we don't have the option because he's hopefully only temporarily left us. This goes to Shadowheart. Uh, Will, you can hold on to that for now. Actually, you can hold on to all these things for now. That gets added to Wares and then put into Shadowheart's pocket. More books to go to camp. Also this. Uh, we don't care about dyes, so these can all get added to wares, and, you know, sure will, you carry it. Yeah, we don't care about these old gross things either. Oh. A bunch of bronzing it's I forgot to give to Shadowheart. Um uh, I can go to camp. There we go, that's better. Okay, but we can get up on these pipes, so we wanna see if getting up there is there's anything. This is the foundry's main lab. The horrors we made here will haunt me to the grave. Okay, there's an auto save, so apparently going to the main lab is a whole thing. The bar of soap up here. Uh, sure, let's break into the main lab. What? Is this... Oh, we're just back in the security. We've already been here. Okay, well, we haven't opened this door yet. Let's go open this door. Is 
There's like nothing here. Yeah, it's just like a tiny little storage room, I guess. Okay. Maybe that dialogue was supposed to be triggered if we walked in through this door. But we came the other way around and it got triggered out of out of order. I'm not completely sure. Okay, Carlac. Can you go for jumping up here? Because you got the hops. Nothing over here. Why? Wait. Will got the hops too. I'm the only one without hops. Why are we silenced again? Why is this? I don't know. I think it's just broken because I don't see silence over here anywhere. Talus Losers' List. Talus Wager Record. First day break. Anok minus one. Frodo. Okay, whatever. Gudrun up 12 gold. Wow, 12 whole gold. We'll What's take this? that. Vessel Identified. I'm pleased to report that we've sourced a vessel and pilot to transport the hostages to the Iron Throne. Red Hammer is a godless fool, but his love of gold outweighs any moral qualms he might have. He will do for now. <coughs> okay, well the only way to go is here. Why aren't you joining up with the group? Let They're joining up with you. Could have gone this way. I feel like this way would have been quicker, but I don't know. What do I know? I'm not the pathfinding in this game. The, the notoriously terrible pathfinding, that is to say. Right tool will do the trick. Come on. I rolled an 11. That's not the greatest. Actually, hold up. Do we have a key? No, we do not. So maybe there is a key somewhere, but we just haven't found it. Okay. We'll try to lock pick it somewhere. Give us guidance. Roll more than 11. Nope, that's not more than 11. We have to roll at least a 13 to have a chance, and at least a 16 to guarantee. Nope. Yep, I know it's a failure. Get through quicker. These are all just tins. These are all just tins. There we go. That is a roll that we'll take. Lula Forza. To Bindobrus. Bindobrus, if there's no ever finds way to you, it means I'm dead. But at least I died trying. As the chief artificer on the Titan Project, I know just what that horror can do, and I'm determined to see it destroyed. Xander Tubin mentioned that if the proper code is entered into the Neurocitor, it triggers a fatal psionic feedback loop. I don't know what that code is, but I might be able to guess it. And if I die taking down the Titan, that will be a good death. I love you, Lula. How to build a Watcher. How Gortash hijacked the Gondian Auto Guard project to create his steel watchers is remarkable and horrible. And somebody ought to tell it. Might as well be me. The original death sign. For the auto guards outwardly resembled the eventual watchers, but an auto guard was designed to be piloted by a small individual in the cockpit of the torso. When Gortash, through some scheme involving fraud and blackmail, took over the dock foundry, he scraped those plans and announced that the steel watch would be entirely remote controlled from a central hub. We had no idea that this remote control would involve both Merculite necromancy and illithid psionics. 
has finally worked out under duress by Xanner Tubin. Fitting out of a steel watch requires the following steps. A zombie is decapitated and has its brain removed. The brain is tadpoled and put in a brain jar where it becomes part of the absolute hive mind. Tadpole brain retains its psionic connection to its undead body. The undead headless body is wired into the torso of a steel watcher. The absolute elder brain sends psionic orders to a jarred brain. The jarred brain passes on the order to its connected steel watcher. All of this telepathic traffic is coordinated through the neurocitor in the control center, but I hope to do something about that. Okay. So, destroy these brains, and we the take out some watchers. The controls is offline for maintenance. The brain dreams. Images of life in a garden cottage in spring. Either that's a really big brain, or there's some serious refraction that's going on. Your tadpole eagerly responds to the parasite in the brain jar. You blink to find yourself standing at Worms Crossing. You are a steel watcher. A guardian of Baldur's Gate. Before you stands a group of humans. He said he was Flaming Fist. That we had to empty our pockets if we wanted to enter the city. We didn't know it was a scam. We have nothing left, and my kids are half starved. Please, let us into the city. We have nowhere else to go. Illithid wisdom check. Rest control from the parasite and allow the family to pass. Hey, stupid parasite, leave them alone or attack the family. I mean, we could try to do an illithid wisdom check. Oh, it's only a DC of two. Sure, okay. If we roll anything except a nat one, we pass. Okay, we'll your take it. Your ears whine in protest, but you force your body to one side gesturing for the family to enter the city. Nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, come on, kids. Grab your bags. Hurry. You are kicked from the Watcher's brain. The family runs into Baldur's Gate, unnoticed by the parasite. Nice. The brain in this jar is aware that its Watcher is on duty in the control center, vast and throbbing with illithid telepathy. It ignores your mind touch as a mere distraction. Okay, well, we're gonna be more than a distraction. Whatever Shadow comes, heart. I'm ready. Are you sure? You ready to smash this brain jar? Uh, it's immune to poison damage. Okay. Um, you and Karlak both need healing. Stand very close to Karlak. And do me a favor, take this and throw it on the ground right between the two of you. <sighs> Perfect. Good enough. Carlac, can you reach that with your long weapon? You see the familiar sights of I said reach it with your long weapon. No, it's too high. How about if you jump up here? Hey, now you can. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The parasite stirs within the pickled brain, twitching. As your mind connects, you feel yourself become strong, powerful, metal. You are a steel watcher, charging through the streets in pursuit of a young girl. She is screaming. Try to trip the steel watcher. Disrupt the parasite's connection to the steel watcher. Yeah. Just do that. Another ten. For a split second, you rest control. The steel watcher's legs lock. It crashes to the ground. The little girl disappears down an alley. Safe for now. Cool. Now break the brain. <gasps> We let a family in, we saved a little the girl. Swimming with parasitic juices connects with yours. With a jerk, your mind is transported. You look down 
your body of pure steel and power whirring. A dwarf cowers before you. Please, Mr. Steel Watcher, sir. I'll, I'll never steal again, I swear it on my mum's life. Just let me go. Force it to release you the dwarf. on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. Oh no. You can only watch as the steel watch oh, no. raises its leg. What? what are you doing? No! Please! You stomp on the dwarf. No! And intestines splashing on you. Oh, okay. So we only get to do that once per character. Okay. Shadowheart, you haven't done it. Go do this one. So if we need to do it. The brain in this jar is controlling a watcher on sentry duty at Worms Rock. It patrols back and forth, vigilant for trouble. Hold up. I got somebody stomped to death. I am so sorry. You want lap time? Up, up. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Okay. No, you can't do that. There we go. Break all the brain jars. Still alive, so that's progress. Oops. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Aside from the obvious. Okay. Open up. Wait. Elevator gyroscopes. Triple set quadrupeds. No, it can't be. What is it? I hear it through the floor. Powerful, indestructible. The ultimate watcher. You're a good boy. The Titan. The Titan. Sounds like a challenge. It shames me to admit this. But you must face this beast of Gondian folly alone. I would be crushed in an instant. Okay. When it raises its shields, strike it with every scrap of magic and might you possess, and pray to Gon that it does not fire upon you. Good luck, my friend. Okay. Thanks for the bit of advice. Where is it? Is it in this thing? Is this thing it? It's like ooey gooey brain and metal all together. Oh, there's all the ooey gooey stuff everywhere though. Oh, there's a letter here. Your kind of curiosity. Automaton component. Um. Okay, let's go see if... I don't want to quite approach that. Wait, there's a guy here. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, hold up. You are still weak to electricity. Notable features, multi-attack prone, restrained, or maimed. Still watcher can multi-attack any prone, maimed, or restrained creature. Okay. Perfect sentry. You cannot be surprised. Automatically attack an enemy moving out of your reach. Uh, advantage on saving throws against spells and other magic effects. Spells that alter someone's form have no effect on the affected entity. It cannot be removed from this plane of existence. Oh, puppy. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses, Mr. Poppy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. I did not see... There's one here, the one here, probably one more over here. Yeah, I did not see them. Oh, shit. This guy is huge. Okay. So I get to go first. You're weak to electricity. Let's use electricity. Nine damage? Nine piercing. Oh, because the lightning itself is a save. Not enough movement. What do you mean, not enough movement? Look, you can get like right there. 
you're clearly close enough to attack it. Critical hit, withering cut. Yes. Um, okay. Now we can't get away, but... Oh well. Ow, 20 damage in a single shot. Okay, you missed, that's okay then. Ow. Uh, first and foremost, Will. Do your hex of strength on this. How much strength does it have? 22? Oh my goodness. Hex of strength. Now how much strength does it have? Well, it's still 22, but... You get disadvantage on strength checks? Shit, I'm not completely sure how that works. I might be doing this very stupidly. Uh, do you have anything that is lightning? I don't think you do. What is this? It might still just go for this. That does 6 to 15. Um, 6 to 15 three times. I think that is our most powerful thing, actually. As silly as it sounds. Yep. Go over this way. Um, just go straight into a rage. Immune to psychic damage, of course. Oh well. Sh sure, be reckless. Critical hit. Good job, Carlac. Are you? Are you really ready? Do this. A critical miss and then a 5, 6, and an 8 with 2 bonus damage. We don't really need the healing yet. This would give everyone Blade Ward, but it's not worth it. Uh, summon this. Go for a Great Axe over here. Nice, good job. Sure, do this. Huh, it can be lacerated, but it's saved from the laceration. Okay. If he has a self-destruct like the other guy, then this might not be too bad. If he gets self-destruct when he's down to like a quarter of his health. Defensive protocol bulwark. Whoa! Hellish... Wait, what the fuck just happened? What is this big red circle? Are you targeting me? Okay. 35 and a hellish rebuke. Not too bad. Okay. Can't reach destination. Why is your movement so small? Is it because you can't get out of the red circle? Swift as my feet can no, you me. can get out of the red circle. Wait, before I do this, I should investigate. What is... Well, in defense state, Steel Watcher comes unyielding and can use its repair matrix, hellfire missiles, and repelling protocol. Start of its turn, restorative servos heal the Steel Watcher for 3 to 24 points. Repelling protocol, expel a wave of force to push assailants back and knock them prone. Oh, I got knocked prone, that's what messed up my... Withering cut! Unyielding construct. 
Only attacks dealing at least 15 damage can harm it. Ah, oh, shit. Um, yes, yeah, shield. Good job, Shadowheart. Not quite a good job, Karlak. Karlak, does this do at least 15? 10 to 22, it can do at least 15. Okay, it did. F oh, cool, you broke his bulwark. Awesome. Um, it may have also broke his targeting thing on Will. I'm not completely sure. How much damage does that do? Oh, it only does a little bit. Not worth anything. I don't think he can be frightened. Yeah, just do a regular attack. That's fine. Um, be reckless, yeah. Nice. And do this for a little extra bonus damage. Okay, good job. No holding back. Hey, okay, you're not being targeted anymore. Awesome. Hey, that was a good little output of power. Good job, Will. And just in case, let's get out of the range of where that Finding circle was. Uh, we'll go this way. Get closer to this guy. Sorry, but... Do you still have your mage armor active? I... I don't think you do. Shit. Bonus action. Palm will strike. Oh, damn it. I did my movements in a very silly way. Six damage. Every little bit helps. Sure it will. In the meantime... Let's give you some lightning arrows and have you use those. Hey! Oh, it's immune to poison damage. Wasted our reaction. Oh well. Not too bad. Uh, we'll get closer to this guy. We have a bonus action. Um, sure, yes, use that protective shell. That's actually the perfect thing to do right now. Psionic backlash and counter spell. Immune to psychic damage. I forgot. Defensive protocol bulwark. Critical hit, 46 damage. That was not too bad. This can do... It cannot do 15 in one hit. Okay. Can we challenge him to a duel? Ha! Ha <laughs> ha Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is. Ow. I'm pinned down, shit. I can't run away. Ow. Hey, good job on your concentration saving throw, Will. Karlak, attack. Good job. Do it again. Um, yeah, do it again. Yes! Break his bulwark. Awesome! Now you can get your little tiny bonus attack off. On the victor's path. What am I standing in? I don't... I don't like it. Whatever it is. Okay, he's down low enough where he would initiate a self-destruct if he was going to, I'm fairly sure. Maybe the Compelled to Duel prevents him from doing that? Hey, one sweet. Thank you for the raid. Um, can you bleed a construct? That is a good question. Uh, yeah, it does look like it worked. Um, I see that we got your raid here. And it did the alert box pop up? 
it should have done an alert box right in the middle of the center of the screen. Um, Meckler, to answer your question, I'm not sure. All I know is that when I was, did a lacerate, the Steel Watcher had to do a saving throw against it. Uh, he passed his saving throw, so I'm not sure what would have happened if he failed, but he did have to make a saving throw. And hey, one sweet, thank you very much for the raid, and welcome to the stream. Uh, Mechalord has been here plenty of times before, but he can tell you that I am a terrible gamer. I just try to have fun, because I'm not going to be good at it. Uh, do a pommel strike to this guy. The raid didn't pop an alert, but the follow- Oh, I didn't even notice to follow. It must have happened at the same time as the raid, as far as what I saw. Uh, so thank you very much for the follow. Always appreciated. Hey, you got dazed. I like it. Thank you for being dazed. Uh, yes, concentrate, Shadowheart. Concentrate on... Shooting a lightning arrow at this guy. And he's immune to poison, so don't waste your reaction. He's almost dead, though. Uh, give all your allies a little bit of healing and blade war. Nice. Okay. Think a construct can bleed if you try really, really hard. Maybe leak oil. Maybe that's the equivalent of bleeding for a construct. Sentinel. Nice. Missed again. Sneak attack. Oh, what? What a terrible time for a critical miss. Bonus attack. Okay, Titan, you are down for the count. Which actually was a lot easier than I expected it to be with how much... Well, wherever he went. This guy? Where is he? How much this guy said it was going to be terrifying. Um, but we completely ignored all three of these guys while we were fighting him, so... Ha! Nice little opportunity attack, Will. Alright, Karlek. Um, you... Yeah, pathfind this way. Sure. Climb over the box instead of just walking behind it. Uh, too heavy to shove. Okay, sure. Oops, that's not what I meant to click on. That's what I meant to click on. If it deals non-magical bleeding damage, it probably doesn't take much damage from it. But I've never played Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, that's fair. Uh, this is my first playthrough, so I've done everything I can to avoid spoilers, so we're going in That's blind, basically, serious. for everything. Uh, can we blind you? 95%. Uh, but you saved from being blinded, okay. We are going to want you to drink a big boy potion, Will. Thank you. And... Get close to these guys so you can get an opportunity attack if the opportunity provides the right anime mecha will bleed explodinium. I mean, that checks out. Not enough movement. You have terrible movement. Okay, well, that's as far as you can get. Maybe we'll get somewhere someday. Are you sure you're ready? Are you ready to take this guy all on your own? Time to deal some punishment. Critical hit! Nice! But he's immune to poison, so don't waste your reaction. And, yep, yeah, that's it for now. Cunning action dash. Oh, really? We still can't get all the way to him? Fine, let's get to this guy. But not go into the hellfire when we do it.
32 plus 3 plus 1. Not the worst. Ow. More Hellfire. That's very rude. You guys are buttheads. You know that, right? Immune to poison. Don't waste your reaction. Yep. Go gather around the corpse of your leader. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, this is gonna be good. Do a little bonus attack. Okay, two damage, we'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Will, why are you so easily beat up, sir? Lacerate. Let's see what happens if you bleed. Immune to bleeding. Then why did you get a saving throw? Uh, you can't pommel strike. Okay, yeah, just... Actually, you can just walk out of here. You don't need to use your jump. And then you can use your bonus action for drinking a potion. But you're still on fire. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Stay away, Will. I don't know why I did that. Should have just kept it out of the range of the explosion. And it's already going to explode and die. Uh, he ran away, so chase him. End it. Oh, dang it, I wait... I'm so dumb. Need a better janitor for that hellfire. <laughs> Tell me about it. Don't waste your reaction. My turn. I can't do a sneak attack. That can only be used once per turn. I haven't had my turn yet. What? Withering cut. Bonus attack. And now get out of the blast radius. Hi, pup pup. Nice. Good job, Karlak. No, Will. Nice. Immune to poison. Don't waste your reaction. Jump over there. Jump over there. Get over there. Do it. I dare you. Nope. Okay. Um, Will is almost dead and Shadowheart is almost dead. But Karlak, you can go after this one. Cool, awesome, good job. Um, Will, attack from a range. Twelve plus nine. Good job. Uh, drink this potion. I don't think you're going to get attacked again. I think you're safe enough as it is. This thing is definitely not going to make it in time. Oh, man. Your movement is trash. That's right. Don't give up, Shadowheart. Um, shoot it, 40% chance. Fireball, 45. Six. Okay, go for the 45. Take what we can get. It's a miss. Uh, also drink this potion. Okay, good enough. And hide behind the pole where it can't see you. Uh, I can't miss this step. How far can I get? I can get this far. Not by walking in the hellfire, you dingus! Okay, fine. Uh, 
Oh, well, you saved from the bonus lightning damage, which sucks for me. And that means you're gonna die from the hellfire. Oh, you did target Will. That was the one person I thought you were not going to target. Sure, be reckless. There you go. Now just get out of the way. We can just skip everything now. Cannot reach Will. What if you jump? There you go. Help him up. Okay. Nice. Can we put out the hellfire? I don't think so. I hate it. I don't like it. Don't walk in the hellfire. Oh my goodness, Shadowheart. That was close. Here you go, Karlak. That's for you. And more of that for you, Karlak. We have this guy over here. Yep, we'll get there in just a second. Let me keep looting first. More of this stuff for Karlak. What does the big boss have? Does he have anything cool? Oh, what's this? A legendary bow. Gontrel Mail. Mael. Gontur Mael. Gontur Mael. I don't know how to pronounce that. Promise victor. On a hit, possibly inflict guiding bolt upon the target. That's not bad. Has its own unique named effect glowing. This object shines a glowing light in a radius of six meters. Cool. Weapon enchantment plus three. Celestial haste. What is that? Gain hastened for five turns. Oh, that's like a... One's per long rest. And it's a concentration based, but it's a reusable speed potion? And it lasts for five turns instead of three? What is this? Bolt of Celestial Light. Frighten your target with intimidating arrows. After attacking, range of taps made by Gontrol Mail. Deal an additional one to four radiant damage. On Mist does not spend any superiority die. Do we need superiority die? I don't think I have any. Gaunter Mail, too cool to have vanilla glowing. Um, I I am definitely going to equip that. It has a max damage of one less than my current damage, but like the benefits are just too much to ignore. Uh, thank you. Heck yes. Uh, that's for Karlak. But that also means now I have a better ranged weapon to give to Will. Uh, here you go, Will. You can have that instead. That was pretty cool. Okay. I have a lot on my mind. Hey, buddy. Let's finish this. Well, it is. Neural switchboard, eh? The neurosita. I can hear its hum. Familiar, yet painful. I helped design the steel watchers, toiled night and day on the first bipedal prototype. It is fitting it ends this way. I will bring down not only the steel watch, but the very foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. Oh. Are you ready, my friend? No, not yet. Let me finish looting. Let me finish it's looting swift. before you do it. We've been lucky so far. <laughs> that sounds like but you're telling me I won't be able to loot after we do this. It is time. Let us end this. Okay, let's see. We'll leave that alone for now. I, I know that there was some loot up here and probably on the other side. No? What does extract up. do on this? This head belonged to the automaton you encountered in the Underdark. How did it come to be here? What? We encountered an automaton in the Underdark. Oh yeah, the the one that was in the wizard's tower? What's hiding here? Brain chant and control center guards. Emiscibility of fluids. 
I've identified the corrosion issue in the lower limbs of the watchers assigned to the control center. The GC lubricants supplied by Hall of Wonder suffers an alchemical reaction if exposed to even small quantities of the pink illithid cerebrospinal fluid that coats the neuron tentacles, generating corrosive properties in the lubricant, causing degradation in the functionality of the lubricated joints. To prevent this, I've added a twice 10 day pink fluid expurgation step to the watcher maintenance protocol. Chief Artificer Forza. Okay, interesting. Brain chant. Personal journal written in square technical printing. I must find a way to avoid overnight control center monitor duty in the future. I must. There are no problems with the mechanisms. The hybrid Gandhi and Elisa devices work flawlessly, but at night, when the watches are largely disengaged from complex duties, their brains. Dear God, the brains. The brains begin to whisper psionically. Their whispers join and harmonize, and then the brains sing. The song of such unutterable sadness, such deadly melancholy, that if I heard it again, I don't think I could survive the experience. I must find a way to avoid monitor duty if I'm assigned again. Maybe if I came down sick, or I could cut off a finger, would that be enough? Well, you're gonna cut off your finger just not to go to work? I feel ya, bro. Control center guards. Now that the Titan is operational, not anymore. There is no more reason to maintain Bayonet guards in the control center. In fact, it would be needlessly dangerous. The steel watchers will hinder guard duty in the center. Hinch horse, stay out. Well, your steel watchers failed, so. Cerebral fluid valve. Hey! Cool. Was there one on this side that I missed? Uh, no, I don't see one. Okay. Alright, I think we're done looting. Feel free to tear this place down. It is time. Let us bring down the foundry and the steel watch with it. Do it. Go Just on. do Let it. Will be my courage, your furnace, my heart. <laughs> the running animation. <laughs> Look at the running animation. <laughs> I don't know why that was so very funny. Okay, did little blind dude get out alive? He deserved to get out alive. Blessed God. He did. Good job. And the foundry crumbles behind us. The sound is as sweet as a well-oiled cog. Yet we paid the price in blood. So few of us remain. Gon's name will soon fade into the annals of history. I must leave now and gather those of us still standing. Look after this city, my friend. I pray it treats you better than it did us. You did well. I appreciate all the help you gave us. Ooh, Outlander. Karlak has inspired catastrophic structural failure. Hey, you completed Disable the Steel Watch. Yep, look, the Steel Watch and the city are all just collapsed and dead. Okay, I'm gonna call that a successful day. Let's make sure we save it. We've made the mistake of not saving it too many times. Okay, well, yesterday we infiltrated this place, went down under the water to the Iron Throne underwater prison, and freed all the hostages. And then today we went here and blew up the Steel Watcher Foundry. That's a pretty productive couple days. If I do say so myself, uh, we're just going to end it here for the day. Um, so Mechlord, thanks for being here as always. One sweet, thank you very much for the raid and the follow. Always glad to have new folks in. If you're still here, thank you just so much. Even if you're just popping in for one time only, it's always appreciated. And then if there's any silent supporters who aren't in chat today, just know that we appreciate having you here just as much. You don't have to chat to be a supporter and we love you all the same. We hope y'all out there have a wonderful day, night, morning, or evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are out there in the world. And as always, take care.